<laughs> hey guys, Megan Leighton here, and I'm a therapist. Uh, today we're going to talk about introverts and extroverts and how they play out in couples, or at least what I see in couples therapy when I do um, couples therapy. So, introverts, you know, they in general don't really like crowds, uh, they like peace, stability, and your extroverts on the other hand are pretty much the opposite. So, since I'm on YouTube, it's probably no surprise that I'm a bit of an extrovert. But when we talk about, like, introverts, extroverts, there's a scale. And I'm way over here. So, I kind of freak some people out. Like, in a social gathering, I might be in your face when I get super excited about things. When I hear music, I'm dancing. Um, when I'm at a park and I see a teenager on a hoverboard, I'm like, hey, can I try that hoverboard? And then I fall and, you know, I'm mad at myself for the next week because my body's getting older and doesn't recover. Um, but I'm married to a huge um, crowd-hating, self-proclaimed kind of people-disliking introvert. Um, love him dearly, but you can only imagine how this plays out like when planning a date night. And I go, hey, let's go downtown and just be in a big crowd of people and people watch and go dancing. And he's like, huh, let's stay in our little town and watch a movie and go out for dinner. Okay. <laughs> sometimes he'll do the, you know, big date night thing for me. But sometimes I'll do the little in night thing for him. And that's okay. That's how it works. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, or you can only imagine how it was last Halloween when, which is like my favorite holiday, by the way, that's coming up. Um, when he's like, can we just not have a Halloween party this year? And I was like, yeah, no problem. But then on Halloween night, I just invited, you know, like 20 or 30 of our closest friends and family over to just come over, you know, have some chili and then go trick or treating together. But it wasn't a party and he's going, what? Uh, that man loves me and he puts up with so much. Love you. Um, and yeah, so let's, let's talk about how this all plays out in couples therapy. If the man is the extrovert, then while his wife is staying at home, raising the babies, and keeping the house in order, he's out with his fishing buddies, drinking, having a great time, until his wife is no fun anymore because she's too burned out and homesick for her husband. Now she is viewed as a nagging, unkept homebody who gets left for a fun chick, who now is only fun because she just got out of a similar relationship and feels free, while well, the first wife is left wondering who she is now and how did she get here. That makes sense. Now, if the wife is the extrovert, then this is what I see in the office. They start off like most couples, childless and happy. They go out a lot because she naturally wants to, and he's young and still is trying to impress her. So even though he may want to stay in, he goes along with it. Things work. Then they have kids. Boom, everything changes, and they stay at home more to take care of the babies. They're sleep deprived but happy, and life is good. Until the babies get a little bit more independent and mom's not needed as much. So she starts to remember, hey, I used to have a life outside of the house. I used to wear a bra, go dancing, wear makeup. And so then the same scenario happens all over again, except this time it's the husband who gets left. Oh, come on now. No laughing? No clapping? I hit a little too close to home, didn't I? Now, I'm sure I'll get a bunch of comments from people out there who are like, oh my gosh, Megan, you totally hit on my relationship. And I'll probably get a bunch of people that are comment and say like, uh, you're totally wrong. I'm married to an extrovert. He comes home to me every night. Life is great. Sweet! I'm not talking about you! Remember when I started this whole thing about what I see in my office, often in couples counseling? Um, that's kind of who I'm talking about here. And, haha, uh -huh, for all you home-wrecking loser guys out there, yes, I can say loser, um, who think, oh, maybe she's talking about her own relationship because she's got young kids, she's a big extrovert, her husband's an introvert, um, maybe she just needs a guy like me in my life. Nope, not interested. I've got over 20 years into this relationship. Aren't we so cute? And, you know, 
picture gets a little dusty over time. Um, relationships can get a little dusty over time. But we've got to dust them off. And we've got to put them, like, first. It's pretty important. Um, sure, can I relate to having feelings of feeling a bit tied down to the family, especially when our kids were really young? Yup, I can. But my husband and I did two really important things. We talked about our feelings and we listened to each other. So when our youngest turned three, I went to him and said, you know what? I feel like I've been tied down for years to the house and she doesn't need me as much anymore. I've got to start rekindling my social network with my friends. And he totally understood. He not only understood, I think he was kind of happy to watch me go sometimes. Um, so yeah, I feel like I always throw out a lot of different things and that's my video for the week. And I hope you all can use this info to have happy, healthy relationships.